it's too expensive now, right now, I think. It's too expensive. Drivers winced at prices, pulling up to pumps at the Turnpike's Vince Lombardi service area today. Regulars 323 a gallon. Across New Jersey, it averages 315 a gallon. That's a buck more than last year, the highest price in seven years. Shelton Demetrius says he'll stay closer to home. If the economy isn't stable, and the gas prices are steady going up, how are people going to travel? Then I have to stop driving a lot because it's too expensive, the gas. I used to fill up my, my tank with around $50 or 60 now I'm spending like 70, 80 bucks just to fill it up. So what does that do to your budget? Yeah, it hurts a lot. A drove of travelers hit the highways for the holiday, people reveling in their freedom. But for some, rising gas prices could put the brakes on driving, both for pleasure and business. That's already impacting my trip, so. How so? What are you doing? Um, right now it's for business, so I'm going to have to be, I guess, more strategic on where I'm traveling from now on because it's getting difficult to maintain the travel. Both locally and nationally, gas prices have been on the increase. This isn't something new. This has been going on for a few weeks now. And the culprit for higher gas prices is crude oil. AAA's Catherine Zinzer says crude oil prices can set more than half of what you pay at the pump, and crude hit 75 bucks a barrel last Friday, the highest in two years. Prices probably won't ease up that much this summer, with the oil cartel OPEC plus other major producers quarreling over production, analysts predict. They're deciding how much to put on the market. They'll probably undershoot, which is to say we're going to have very strong crude oil prices for the rest of 2021. And that's really where the price of gasoline is coming from these days. Analyst Tom Closer says gas supplies should meet demand, but with a shortage of tanker truck drivers, he predicts some Jersey locations could see a pump or two go dry. So if you're in places that are distant, let's say, you know, Cape May or down the shore that way, you might have an outage that lasts a few hours. And sometimes people react to that uh, and they turn a little bit apoplectic. But demand at the pump can also drive New Jersey's gas tax up or down. By law, New Jersey needs to collect enough money to pay into the state's transportation trust fund. Use of uh, vehicles kind of plummeted in the uh, the end of During last the year, the spring. Um, we had less come in than had been uh, forecast. Um, so we had to make an adjustment. And during budget hearings this spring, the state treasurer told lawmakers she adjusted New Jersey's gas tax upwards by 9.3 cents last October to 50.7 cents a gallon, fourth highest in the nation, to make up for revenue losses during the pandemic. But she says forecasts have improved. More people are driving. So will the gas tax rise again? We'll do that analysis in August when we see the numbers um, that come in on the gas revenue. So um, the numbers that we predicted when we set the last rate um, back in the fall have been holding true. And with the governor up for re-election in November, some political observers doubt we'll see a gas tax hike one month before people go to the polls. I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJ Spotlight News.